can of worms. If an action can create serious problems, it is opening a can of worms. You just make sure you don't open the can of worms with it. One thinks that that will open up a can of worms. <laughs> oh, let's not open that can of worms. I can only imagine the can of worms that that would open up if the parents found out. Would open up a whole can of worms. Or told me, if someone doesn't want to say where they got some information from, they can say that a little bird told them. A little bird told me. Well, let's just say a little bird told me. Oh, a little bird told me. A little bird told me that he disappeared from the set today. Early bird catches the worm. The early bird catches the worm means that if you start something early, you stand a better chance of success. Early bird catches the worm? The early bird catches the worm. Early bird catches the worm, dog. Ants in the pants. If someone has ants in their pants, they are agitated or excited about something and can't keep still. I'm at G. I got ants in my pants. I got ants in my pants. <laughs> Come on, dance like you have ants in your pants. Birds of a feather flock together. This idiom means that people with similar interests will stick together. Birds of a feather should flock together. Birds of a feather flock together, so do pigs and swine. And birds of all feathers flock together. <laughs> Cast pearls before swine. To offer something valuable or good to someone who does not know its value. It's pearls before swine. Pearls before swine! Pearls before swine. Yeah, pearl before swine. Shit. Come out of your shell. If someone comes out of their shell, they stop being shy and withdrawn and become more friendly and sociable. You can come out of your shell. really come out of your shell, haven't you? Well, I think you need to come out of your shell. Just <laughs> to really come out of his shell. I don't... True. Did you know they don't come out of that shell? Deer in the headlights. When one is caught off guard and needs to make a decision, but cannot react quickly. Poor thing looked like a deer caught in the headlights. <laughs> you get the deer in the headlights look. You've lost that deer in the headlights look, Wilt. Somebody's like a deer in the headlights with the media. They're good people. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. This means that if you are given something, a present or a chance, you should not waste it by being too critical or examining it too closely. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Don't a gift horse in the mouth. I won't stand for it. In other words, you shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. But I guess I shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Yeah. Cat got your tongue. If someone asks if the cat has got your tongue, they want to know why you are not speaking when they think you should. Cat got your tongue? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Cat got your tongue? Cat got your tongue? Cat got your tongue? Hair of the dog. If someone has a hair of the dog, they have an alcoholic drink as a way of getting rid of a hangover, the unpleasant effects of having drunk too much alcohol the night before. It is commonly used as a way of excusing having a drink early on in the day. Okay, here. Hair of the dog. Look. Hair of the dog. Good morning, Your Highness. Hair of the dog. Oh, yeah? A little hair of the dog that bitch it? In the catbird seat. If someone is in the catbird seat, they are in an advantageous or superior position. So now, we are in the catbird seat here. And I'll be sitting in the fabled catbird seat. The old redhead speaking here from high up in a catbird seat at Ebbets Field. Right now, I'm in the catbird seat. Make ends meet. If somebody finds it hard to make ends meet, they have problems living on the money they earn. Just trying to make ends meet. Thank you. The only guy out there trying to make ends meet. And I could never make ends meet. It's barely enough to make ends meet. I was struggling to make ends meet.